Welcome scientists. Today we're going to be starting to learn about a new life cycle, the life cycle of a ladybug. Be sure to listen to the story till the end because I have a fun activity for you. The story is called A Ladybug's Life written and illustrated by one of my favorite authors and illustrators, John Himmelman. In the early spring, a ladybug lays her eggs on a leaf. There are more than 5,000 different kinds of ladybugs in the world. Soon, a ladybug larva squeezes out of her egg. Good morning, spring. The ladybug larva plucks an aphid off of a rose stem. She grows bigger and bigger each day. Soon, the ladybug larva changes into a ladybug pupa. Then, the ladybug pupa changes into a ladybug beetle. Good morning, summer. The ladybug beetle searches for food. Mealybugs make a good meal. The ladybug beetle climbs to the top of an aster and then flies off through the air. A warbler tries to catch the ladybug beetle. She gets away, but a robber fly is not as lucky. The ladybug beetle lands on a child's swing She looks in the child's eye. Ladybug, ladybug, fly away, says the child. The ladybug beetle lands on a wild rose, but a praying mantis is waiting. Lucky again, the mantis catches a crane fly instead. It is time to find a male ladybug beetle. She searches and snoops. She seeks and hunts. At last, she finds a mate. Now the ladybug beetle lays eggs of her own. When summer has passed, the autumn leaves fall. As it grows cold, the ladybug beetle grows sleepy. She sleeps through the winter with her ladybug friends. Good night until spring, ladybug beetle. Are you ready to do an activity with me? Let's go. All right, little scientists, let's use my life cycle figurines to recreate the life cycle of a ladybug. Now, like all the life cycles that we have been studying this year, which piece do you think goes first? Yes! All the life cycles we've been studying this year start with an egg, right? So that is the first step. The mama ladybug lays the eggs. All right, then what happens next? That's right, the little larva, and it doesn't look anything like a ladybug, hatches out of the egg and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then finally forms into a pupa can you guys say that pupa and then remember how it splits open and it sheds its skin a few times. And then changes into a ladybug. And this whole process is called a life cycle. And the change is called a metamorphosis, right? The change that happens from egg to larva to pupa to finally a full-grown butterfly. So now, 
in your activity packet for this week. I've given you ladybug activities as well as ladybug life cycle cards so that you can recreate the life cycle at home. If you enjoyed the read aloud and our lesson, remember to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't ever miss a lesson. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.